All right, so I've been creating content for like two and a half years now. And in the grand scheme of things, it's really not that long. Um, so I'm still pretty new into it, but I've been doing it long enough to where I've, I've had some good videos and I've had some bad videos and I've definitely made a lot of improvements over these two and a half years. So in today's video, we're going to look at the intros of five different videos. One from really early on in the channel, um, one like my most popular video. We're gonna see probably why that one was so popular. And then uh, my favorite one, uh, one of my most recent ones to show you how much those have changed and then another one. Now the reason we're going to be looking at the intros is because the intro is kind of the biggest part of the video. It's where you hook your viewer and you can keep them throughout the whole entire video. Um, and if you have good intros and you keep people for those intros and YouTube will push that video out a little more. That's something I've noticed in my statistics is when the intro, when people stick around for the intro, um, or a higher percentage stick around for the intro, then that video ends up getting a lot more views. So today we're gonna kind of take that and look at these videos and go beyond the analytics, beyond all the statistics, and I'm gonna give you my personal opinion on um, just these intros, how they did and why I think they did so well, and some maybe flaws that I had in them. So let's jump into it. All right, so what I've noticed is there's a certain rhythm that you have to have to intros. You can't be too quick with it, otherwise you'll you'll go too quick, your viewer won't be able to watch it, and they'll, they'll just kind of leave because they aren't able to follow along very well. But you can't go too slow, otherwise you're going to bore your viewer. So this is a Counter-Strike video from about a year ago that I made. Um, I really like the rhythm of this first, kind of the intro part. So we'll watch the first minute of it, and then we'll, and we'll talk about it. So... Here you go. Here's the intro. I'm with I'm with you. Yeah. Raja. <laughs> Just like battle cry our way in here. Raja. I think it's a death trap. Probably, but I got a shotgun. One hundred percent. Got him. What? I got new to him. All right, so that was the first 30 seconds, and that's kind of that's kind of intro time. It's uh, you can go 30 seconds to a minute. So what all happened? So first off, we started off. We didn't come in too hot. It was you kind of set the scene. We're gonna go into this building. Something's gonna happen, um, and that's that. And notice how there's there's no music. I'm with I'm with and it's you. like first yeah. like five yeah. seconds, <laughs> and then the music kind of pulls in. And one of the things I think we forget about as creators is the music behind your videos. If your video, if you can have a mid video that has really good music placement and really good kind of sound placement behind it, it can become a pretty good video. You can you can get people to continue watching, um, or at least I think you can. From my experience, you can. I also don't have videos that have like tens of thousands of views, but with my experience, if you have a good audio behind the video it makes for an overall better video. So then the music comes in, the Don't scene changes, like do a quick pop in or as like a zoom in um, to kind of signify a change um, into the intense moment of this intro. Then we go on and we go on and we go on and as soon, and so like into kind of exit out of this intro, it's, it's it's kind of an ebb and flow. You kind of come into it and then you go out of it, and you don't want to go out of it too quickly. And that's just, and that's, this applies to kind of any parts of your videos. Um, and I mainly do gaming stuff, so I'm going to talk more in gaming terms or gaming video terms. And so when you go from one kind of event that you want to have in your video, one event in the game, to another one where you where where you're done with that event and you go into the next one. Um, having a nice transition, uh, just a natural transition out of the current one and into the next one is a really good thing to have. 100%. So, tell them, music stops, the uh, contrast goes away, um, but we're still in this scene. And so it's like, okay, the event has happened, we're still in it. What? He goes down, Where flashback comes him? in, transition. Because now I can now I can put whatever I want after this. Because this is this is uh, the Skyrim intro, and so this is the end of that scene. So there's nothing that's going to come after it. It's just kind of a natural thing. So I could put whatever I want. So then, 
after it, like 25 seconds in. Right into what my intro was at the time, which I put up the game and basically what this video There's is. Two Instead of uh, like saying an intro, that was my little intro sequence. And then we go, let me go right in. Coming into it. back. Like so it's like it's kind of the same same they took that round or same right part of the game Ow. but just no, a uh, um, a different part of it so we're moving on so that's one of my favorite intros that i feel did really well uh, next we're going to look at an intro that i don't think did very well like this first minute editing it and going through all the editing it was it felt good but in the end uh, after it was uploaded and i watched it I realized this was too quick um, for an intro, like a too too fast for my liking. The rhythm didn't feel right. Um, it just it just didn't sit well within itself. Uh, these first like the beginning scene was really good, but what came after it felt just really quick. Oh my and I god! Wonder, what is I wonder. I hope you can catch what I mean by that. <laughs> oh fuck! Where do you go? It hurts my head. <sighs> So there's our intro, and now we're kind of into the Sick. video. Don't line up. Oh, let's go. I launched that, oh, stay, I launched that way too far. <sighs> so like, oh, just, just these edits you feel like they're very quickly. <laughs> they're very quickly. <laughs> very quick pretty edits, pretty one after yeah. another. Bet. Just got full send it. <laughs> damn it! Shit, I wanna knock you the f out. There was a there was a transition oh, there. Oh No 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 no! Shit. All right, so that was the first minute of it, and looking at it, I think the thing I don't like about it is how much um, change there is to the scene, like. I like doing a lot of zoom ins and zoom outs. Um, typical to do them really subtly with like people saying stuff or stuff that way. And it, it happens some times throughout this, but just from, so this is multiplayer platform golf. So it's golf. It's you, you play golf, you take shots at a golf ball and yada, yada, yada. Like each shot, I felt like I went too quickly into it without kind of, Getting an, giving an end to the previous shot that I wanted to have in the video. So it was just, it was very quick. Like, we'll see here. Just got full send it. F see, like, zoom out. Zoom in already. Zoom out a little bit. <laughs> Set that way. I also had a lot of censoring in the beginning of this, because, I mean, rightfully so. Because you don't typically, I don't think you really want, like, cuss words in the first parts of your videos. Uh, YouTube doesn't really like that. So I, I haven't really found the sensor in ways that I like. But this is what I, that's what I used. And it just, it just cuts it. It just cuts it too much. And I just don't really like how much that cuts. So this intro felt very quick. The rest of the video turned out great. Like I like the pace of it. It kind of settled into a good pace. Um, but just the clip that I chose for the intro sequence I guess the clip I chose for the intro sequence is fine. Like this very first clip, not a bad clip. It's that first hole. I just did not edit it the way I wanted to edit it. Okay, so now this one is one of my first videos that I ever created. So this was when I had very little editing skills. I was really just kind of getting into it. Um, I hadn't worked much with Premiere Pro and that's the software I use uh, to edit my videos still. So now I've got a couple years of experience on it. But this was starting out, and we'll do like the first 30 seconds, and we'll talk about it. <laughs> this was Rocket League. I played a lot of Rocket League at the beginning of this channel. That's what I played. What? The cheat seeker. Uh-huh. What? Have you never played I this don't... mode? No. Well, the ball goes, tries to go into the goal. So, typically, you don't really leave your goal. Okay, so that was the first 30 seconds. 
few things to note. At the time, I thought it was great. Like my editing throughout this, I thought it was great. It was not. It was the best I could do at that moment for what I knew. But one, the quality is not so good. And that is because I, this is from a live stream. And so I live streamed this. Then I took that live stream off Twitch. This was back when I was on Twitch um, and downloaded it from Twitch, which was not, not a good thing. Um, I had the internet and the computer to run a good stream. Just didn't, it just didn't know what I was doing. So what I do now, if I do a live stream that I want to have a recording for is I'll live stream and record it in that very moment. Um, because downloading it from the live stream, the quality is not as good. So yeah, and taking it from Twitch, like I had all these things up on the left corner. I had something, the right corner, the bottom, bottom left. I just had a lot of stuff that you don't need on your videos. I had a lot of it in the corners. And I was like, man, not very good. Another thing, like right away, right here, dead silent. There is nothing. There's the game music. That's the only thing that has any excitement for this like first 10 seconds. Otherwise, it's it's pretty dead. There's nothing getting said. There's nothing going on. You're just watching Rocket League. You could, you could go and play a game of Rocket League and have more fun sitting yourself than watching someone else sit waiting for the game to start. Um, another thing, I had a different mic than what I do now. And that mic was that mic was a struggle because it was a cheap mic it worked but i had to have myself really quiet so that way i didn't have background noise and so i'm a lot quieter what? than like everyone else a seeker. Look how, listen to how quiet i am in that so that was another thing that i'm excited i don't have anymore i don't have that problem of being too quiet uh so i got i got the right mic for it but that was this is one of the first videos. They're there, they have some editing, a little bit different edit style um, in terms of what I could, how I edited, but uh, yeah, they're there. You can go check it out if you want and see just the great video that it is. And this one is one of my newest videos, one of my most recent ones. This is Rocket League One. Um, totally different intro. This is an intro where like I, I spoke the intro. Like I implemented me talking about the video, um, giving a proper intro to it instead of just having some gameplay be the intro. This is a, a true intro, which um, highlights some moments from this video, which I think is a good strategy. It's a strategy that I like, uh, where you talk about the video, bring some highlights throughout the video into it, your favorite parts. And then you go into the video. Give, give something for people to look forward to, or to look for. So this was this is a good intro. It's like 30 second intro. Pretty Have good. you ever been playing Rocket League and it's just like, hi, ow. So oh no, shit. I was trying. <laughs> oh! 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 Well, if so, then, well, you're, you're on the right video. This, that's pretty much all this video is, is just, it's, it's that, just for 10 minutes. I, I don't know what else to say, other than if you like this video, then I guess I, I've got other ones like it, um, so you can go check those out after this video if you want. I don't know, up to you. Uh, enjoy. Yeah, 32 seconds. Quickly got into it of, like, I'm speaking the intro, and then directly into the highlights. Which are pretty cool and then while i'm also while i'm talking about it still i've got the gameplay in the background we've got the gameplay with a little bit of audio i made sure you could, there was something there but just enough to keep your eyes distracted while you listen to my intro which I, uh, sometimes i'll type out the intros and read them off and it works for me sometimes i wing it if i'm lazy but i think this one i typed out so, and it shows, it was a good intro. I really like this intro. Um, I like how I did it. It's got a good pace to it. That's another thing is it was long enough. It was a 30 second intro. It wasn't 15 seconds. I've had some 15 second intros where I'm like, that it just doesn't seem like it was long enough for an intro and we're already into the video. But I think it was a good, good introduction. I don't know, that's my personal preference. But this is one of my newest intros, newest video intros that I've done.
um, kind of where my style is right now. And then the editing throughout this video itself is oh. pretty good. I, right, no, I just can't Roman F Campbell. it up for four Everybody seconds. I like, I like this editing that I have for this things. video. And this final one is my most popular video. This, I think, was the first CS or Counter-Strike. Maybe it was the second one. Um, one of the very first Counter-Strike videos I made. I can't remember if it was the first or second one. I think it was the second one. I remember doing the first one because the first one was original Counter-Strike. This one is the first one of Counter-Strike 2. Um, and I didn't know that there was a difference. I was just like, oh, this game looks cooler. But this one has like 1,800 views, which is my highest viewed um, long form video, which doesn't seem like much for some people, but to me, it's it's a lot. Uh, it's a video over 1,000 views is, is a good video for me. So this was a really good video. And I couldn't figure out why. But we'll watch the intro. Uh, where's the Nova? Yeah! Yeah! Nova shotgun! Let's go! Let's go! It's me, I am him. Uh. Ooh. Yeah! Nova shotgun, baby! Uh, is it working? Uh, yeah. Oh, I shot you. Oh. I died. <laughs> what I can't doing? see! Yeah, baby! Yep, and there, there we go. We're 30 seconds in. It's in the 30 to 40 second mark, and here's our intro scene. But a good, easy, a, an easy intro to watch. Good pace, you kinda, you kinda get it. Um, the whole premise of this entire video, like the, the name of this video is this shotgun I were meant to be, was how there's a shotgun in here that's kind of after my, or similar to my name. So um, like I'm Purple Nova, that's channel name, and there's a shotgun in CS uh, in Counter-Strike that is called the Nova. So it kind of fits. So that was the whole overall theme of this entire video. And I think that's why it held uh, so many views or got so many views and held views throughout the entire video was because it was just an overall um, overall theme to it that worked really well I don't know the thumbnail was mid I could have done a much better thumbnail on it um, but I, I just didn't know how, how to do a thumbnail for this video um, I didn't get a good screenshot but it ended up doing pretty well and yeah like so the shotgun I were meant to be. So you know what it's gonna be about shotgun. Where's the Nova? Boom, shotgun. Yeah. Nova shotgun. Yeah. You see Nova it. Shotgun. I'm holding the shotgun. And 30, a minute, 30 seconds of me using the shotgun. Some funny quips. Um, my subtitles are a little bit better. I got a little more pizzazz to them. I had no zoom in or out, like minimal, minimal zooms. Um, and so it wasn't too like overwhelming that way. And yeah, I think this was a good intro for the time. Um, I could do it better. Like if I had to redo it, I'd probably do a little, a little more pizzazz to it. But uh, yeah, good intro and it did well. But I think it, it's it's how this intro set up the rest of the video and how it's all kind of the same theme. It wasn't, it wasn't a bad intro. Good pace, good rhythm. Um, that rhythm kind of stuck throughout the entire video. It was kind of that rhythm. So yeah, there are a couple videos from the channel. Uh, my takes on their intros and their videos themselves, um, from my greatest video to videos I did not really like to earliest videos, the newest videos. There's still goods and bads in every video. That I'm like, could have done that better or should have tried to figure out a new way to do that. But overall, they're getting better and they're getting a lot higher quality and I'm putting a lot more time into them. And uh, it shows in, at least for myself, I'm enjoying it a lot more and a lot more satisfied with how they turn out. So thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.